Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video which I am so excited for because honestly it has been so ridiculously long since I filmed a haul video and even longer since I filmed a Sephora haul video. So I am just over the moon for this video. I can't wait. I have this box that is completely full to the brim because it was actually like six different orders. Basically what sprung this haul is the fact that I've been gone for so long. I've been so out of touch with makeup. You guys know if you saw my chatty get ready with me that was my most recent one. I'll link it down below. But I've been gone for a while so I haven't really been in touch with any of the new stuff that's come out. So when I sat down I was like let me let me focus on the new stuff and what I need to try out. It was just this whole long list and I was like all right guess mama's gotta do a Sephora haul. So just diving in the first thing that I see because there's like 50 of them is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I got almost every color. I think I'm missing maybe two shades, maybe three. I don't know. So this first one is a Diamond Dust. I'm gonna go through all of them and probably swatch all of them. So this is gonna be such a long video. It won't come out. So this is what it looks like. It is just, it looks kind of like a lip gloss. So I'm so excited to try these out because I've seen everybody and their mothers and their uncles and their cousins trying this out. So like I said, this is the color Diamond Dust. Uh, my initial thoughts is that this is gorgeous. This is super wet, but this is the color right there. It's super, it's like actually wet. It's not like a moussey kind of a formula or anything like that. So the next color is Kitten Karma. And it has the exact same packaging as the other one. And I'm just going to swatch it right next door. There's another shade that I thought was really similar to... Oh, this color is gorgeous. Um, that was really similar to this shade. I think it's like rose gold something. And I didn't pick it up because I thought it was a little bit too similar. So that's Kitten Karma right there. The next color I got is Smoldering Satin. I'm just so excited to do a look with these. Oh, so let me show it to you in the bottle. This is what it looks like. I love this color. It's like a taupe, but like a mauve. It's like a mauve taupe. It's the third shade in. That's such a beautiful color and honestly has the best pigmentation so far. The next color I got is, I can't read that, Smoky Storm, which I believe is really similar to the one I just swatched, but I don't remember. I looked up all the swatches online. So, okay, this one's just a little bit more, a little bit more gray than the one, than the satin one that I just swatched. The next one is Molten Midnight, which I believe I was the most excited for because it's like my kind of shade and I can't open this. I'm not shocked. So this is the color Molten Midnight. It's just like a black shade with so much glitter going through it. I Oh, I die for these colors. This is just, this is my dream. This is my dream. Do you see that? And the last one is Gold Goddess. And I saw a lot of different people saying this one wasn't as pigmented. And when I looked up the swatches, it didn't look as pigmented. So I held off on this one for a little bit. And then I was like, all right, uh, let me bag it up. This is it in the packaging. And I'm going to swatch it super awkwardly. Yeah, it's still, it's not... It's not as pigmented. It needs like, it's not even a, like close to as pigmented as the other ones. It's right here. So that's all of the shades that I picked up. Basically, this is just a liquid glittery eyeshadow and I just, I just cannot wait. So the next thing that I see in here is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the lip palette and I was kind of going back and forth with this. It hasn't been... This hasn't been like super new, but I was going back and forth trying to figure out if I really need a lip palette because I don't really do any like freelance work or anything like that, but I do really like lipstick. So I decided to pick it up. So it does come with a palette, a little like mixing palette. If I could open that, why can't I ever open anything? It just says Anastasia Beverly Hills on the bottom. So I think that's a really important thing to include with a lip palette because otherwise I'd never pick one up myself. So this is what it looks like. It has clear packaging so you can see all of the shades and it has, that's awkward, I just dropped the brush. It has all the shade numbers written on, or is this an insert? Oh, it's an insert, okay. So it has it as an insert um, and it just also has it on the back with the colors like coordinated, which I appreciate. And this is what it looks like. It has all your necessary colors. 
And it also comes with a brush and a little spatula on the other side of the brush. Maybe it'd be helpful if I showed you the brush. So it comes with a little spatula on one side and then the other side is a little lip brush. I'm just going to keep this little plastic situation on it. No, I'm not going to because putting it on again is a pain in the butt. So forget it. I lied to you. So yeah, I just can't wait to try out the regular lipstick formula from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys already know how I feel about Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just like a love, love relationship. I love them. I will say there are some products that I'm like, you could have done better than that. But hopefully this is not one of them. So I cannot wait to try that out. The next thing that I picked up is by Cover FX and this is the Custom Enhancer Drops. I got mine in the color Sunlight and I know I'm like the latest person in America, but I never picked these up because I told you I dropped off the face of the planet. So when I finally decided to get my life together, I said, oh yes, this is like the number one thing that I had to put in my cart because I have been wanting to try this forever. I usually am not a fan of liquid highlights, which is funny because I think I have two in this haul. But um, I feel like they've just been getting so good. Makeup has just been getting so good. Like I need... I need to try these so I'm so excited about these and what I will say is that I did not like the custom cover drops by cover FX I have those in my collection and I never ever use them because I tried them I think I'm gonna say like two or three times and I thought they were horrible this is it oh my god I cannot wait to use this this is super pigmented Another thing that I am ridiculously late to is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. I know everybody is obsessed with this foundation and I know I'm like the last person in the entire world to try it. But I definitely wanted to give it a try. I got the color 501 which I just looked up swatches online so I have negative 5 idea if this is going to match me. It is like a spray foundation which initially I was like do I really want that next to my face but... I just hear such good things about it like I, I don't know how I could not try it I don't even know where to spray this right now <laughs> well that color looks good oh that consistency is so weird okay so that's the color right there it looks a lot darker than my hand but so does my face so I'm really excited to try that out I don't know how I'm gonna try it I don't know if I'm gonna put it like on a brush on a beauty blender if I'm gonna just spray it directly to my face probably not that one though I don't know how I'm gonna use it but um, let me know if you guys want a first impressions. I don't feel like, I feel like this is so old, like you guys probably don't want a first impressions. But if you do, let me know. The next thing that I got is by Marc Jacobs, and this is the Omega Bronzer. And I have been wanting to try a new bronzer forever. I feel like I use the same bronzers over and over and over again. And it just gets really tiring, really boring, and... I'm just I'm just not into it like I want to switch it up so I got this bronzer in hopes that I'd love it I love the Marc Jacobs oh I should have picked that up in this haul I love the Marc Jacobs the Instamark this the one that's like a split pan that has a contour on one side and a highlight powder on the other side I love that and I went through that like a hundred years ago I don't know why I never picked up a new one I really should have picked up a new one during this haul but whatever this is what it looks like. It's like the most enormous pan in the world. It kind of looks similar to the Dark Chocolate Soleil. It's a little warm, but it doesn't look too warm, if that makes sense, which is like exactly what I look for in a bronzer. So I'm really excited about this, and I love the mirror and all the... Like, you will see all your flaws. Like, like all of them. The next product I picked up is also by Marc Jacobs, and this is the second highlighter that I picked up that's in a liquid form. This is the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops, the Coconut Gel Highlighter. I think that's the whole name. I'm not sure. And it's in color 50 Do You? Question mark. This is what the packaging looks like right here. It is so... This is really cute. Like, I want to store this on my vanity. Oh, this is, like, not even similar to the color effects. No. Color effects. The cover effects one. The cover FX I feel like is more like a full coverage highlighter. This one is just like a highlighter highlighter if that makes sense. The next thing I picked up is a beauty blender because I'm obsessed with beauty blenders. You guys know this. This is not news to you. And I just didn't have the nude color. So I just picked up the nude color even though my white one looks exactly like this. I didn't actually have the nude color so I just picked that up for my collection. I usually get every single color but I'm a little... Just like a little behind. Another foundation that I picked up, and I picked this up with the intentions of doing a first impression. This is the Natasha Denona Foundation 
X and I saw this completely last minute. I saw this on Trend Mood's Instagram the day before it was going to release and it just sounded really interesting to me. Like I need, I needed to have it. So I picked it up. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because like I said, I am going to do a first impressions on it tomorrow. But I picked up the color 75 and I saw swatches of it online, which is why I picked this color. It's good because I think this is going to match me pretty well. Um, it's just supposed to be full coverage and not cakey at all. I've tried her eyeshadows, which I really, really like, but I've never tried her foundation. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I'm probably going to give a lot of these products a try tomorrow when I do that first impression. So yeah, I would definitely stay tuned for that first impression. So the next things that I picked up are by Kat Von D. I bought two of the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, which I really do like this formula. I have a good lot of the shades. So they came out with, I think, five new colors, and I picked up two of them. The colors I got are Sanctuary. This is the packaging, by the way. And some other color that I can't think of right now. Hawkwind. So I'll show them to you. They're basically like nudes for every single skin tone. And so I picked up these two because these two looked the most interesting to me. This is Hawkwind on the top. And then this one is Sanctuary. Hawkwind is just like a warm terracotta color. I'm going to swatch them on my hand, obviously. And then Sanctuary is a little bit more of like a mauve toned cooler type of a situation. So this one is Hawkwind and this one is Sanctuary. They're both pretty different, but I feel like they're really unique colors. The next product I got I am super excited about, probably one of the most exciting things in this entire haul. And you're going to be like, are you serious? You're like that excited for the most boring thing. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Blacker. If you guys know me, at all if you've seen like any one of my videos this is my all-time favorite eyeliner and I ran out of it a while ago but I said to myself you know what this is a $25 eyeliner which in my opinion for something that you use so often like eyeliner is a lot so I really wanted to go through some of my other eyeliners but honestly I went through them I used them I even bought some new ones and tried to compare them and they were nothing like this eyeliner honestly there's nothing like it in my opinion it's super black super creamy it's just perfect so I'm gonna swatch it. It's just a black eyeliner. I don't know but Look how black that is and it's so effing creamy. I saw that he came out with more colors, but I was like no I was really tempted, but I was like no, let me not do that I'm just gonna pick up the black because I know that's the one that I use the most So I am just I'm so happy to have this back in my life You guys don't even understand the next thing that I'm pulling out of the box is also really exciting to me It's a little bit smaller than I pictured it to be I thought it was gonna be like this gigantic packaging but I'm not mad at it. It is the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. It's basically like the Moonchild Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which you guys know I still haven't picked up. Still. In case you were curious, I still just can't get my life together. I want that glow kit and I just, I just can't remember to buy it. It's like the biggest pain in the butt. But I picked this one up. These are like the tiniest pans. These are legitimately the tiniest pans. This is the smallest little palette. I thought it was going to be like... I don't know, I just pictured this to be like way bigger than what it is. This is like, this is like really small. And I don't remember how much it was, but I don't think it was like a good price to have like a tiny palette. Seriously, these pans are tiny. These are supposed to be highlighters, but like my highlighter brush is not going to fit in. I, like, are you kidding me? It's like the size of my eye. I don't know, I'm going to do some swatches. Maybe I'll feel better about it, but like, these are like, oh, that's so, that's so, that's, oh, okay, I'm feeling better about it because like these swatches are everything to me. Oh, I really can't wait to use this, but if I don't love this when I use it on my face, this is going to probably have to go back. This is like, <laughs> this is like ridiculously small. I really never return things, but this is so small. I believe there's only two more products in this haul, which I could have swore there was more than that, but I'm not mad. So the first one is by NARS and it is the smudge proof eyeshadow base. You guys know I use this in my eyebrows every single day. I just feel like it, it just provides a really good base for my eyebrows. It makes sure that they don't get oily throughout the day, which is really important to me because my eyebrow area is so oily. It's like the weirdest thing. But this is what it looks like in case you haven't seen on my channel. I just ran out of my other one, so I knew I had to make it a point to pick up another one. I feel like this is one of those things like... I don't want to repurchase, but I have to because I really felt it. I ran out of it probably a week ago, and I've done my makeup twice since then, and it just hasn't felt the same, even though today I feel like I'm having a pretty okay brown day. The last thing, I believe, besides the samples, 
I believe this is the last thing. Uh -huh. I don't want it to be over. Oh no, I lied to you. There's one more thing besides this. So the second to last thing that I have to show you guys is by Vizier. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know Vizier is my favorite formula of eyeshadows. Hands down, they make the best matte eyeshadows in the game. This is the... I don't know what the name is. So here we go. This is the Warm Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I have, I think, four palettes besides this one. And these are really pricey. These are $80 for like one little palette. So I feel a little like... That's a lot of money that I spent. But it is so, like, undoubtedly worth it. So this is what it looks like right here. Stop. They have the dark matte palette, which I thought just, like, screamed my name. But, like, no. This screams my name. As soon as I saw this on this four website, I was like, I, I have to have this. This is, like, not even a question. Like, are you... This is a joke. It looks so basic, but I'm telling you... If you try Vizier eyeshadows, they're unlike anything in the world. They're so buttery, they're so creamy, ridiculously pigmented and blendable. Like, is that even a real thing? You know what? I'm gonna swatch for you. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so this color is like what I need to touch. And this color. I barely touched the... No, no! I dare somebody to tell me that something is better than Vizier. Come see me. Come see me if you got something to say. And then the last thing that I have to show you is just... So long overdue. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only person in the entire world who has not tried this bronzer. Like I told you guys, I've been wanting to try a new bronzer forever and a half. And I finally picked up the Benefit Hula bronzer that everybody's been talking about for like the entire existence of makeup. I never picked it up because I just didn't feel like it was going to show up well on my skin tone. I feel like everybody that I've ever seen use this has like a lighter skin tone than me and it shows up. Dang, I dropped the brush. So this is what it looks like. I feel like, okay, like look at this color compared to my skin. Like, come on. Is that going to show up? I'm like really nervous. But I felt like enough was enough. Like I had to give it a try. At least give it a try. And then if it doesn't show up, then okay, it doesn't show up. But at least so I know because it was just like haunting me in my dreams. Like, come on. I feel like I'm the last person in the history of YouTube to try the Hula Bronzer. You guys are probably like, are you kidding me? Like you've been on YouTube for almost three years and have not tried the Hula Bronzer. I know. I don't know, but I'm gonna let you know what I feel about it. But yeah, now that my entire floor and everything around the floor is a mess, this haul is finished. <laughs> I hope that you're excited to see any of these products. If you are, just let me know in the comments, like, which one you want me to review or which one you want to see first or, like, whatever you're excited for or just, like, if you're not excited, any anything you want to leave down below, feel free to do so. So yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. No Twitter here. I tried it for like 20 days and I was like, no, you know what? I'm not, I'm not really here for it. So just Instagram and Snapchat for now. <laughs> That's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a tutorial on this very blue smoky eye type of a deal.